Who is going to make the championship playoffs this season? Since the international break, we've seen every championship team play three games and it seems as if every team from fifth down to 12th is treating those last two playoff places like a hot potato, passing up the opportunity to get in there when everyone else trips up. The only team taking advantage of this mess are Preston North End, who might actually get in there come the end of the season. Today, we're gonna to break down the playoff race and see who's gonna make it at the end of the season. Before we get into this, video do make sure to drop a like we'll go for 200 likes and do make sure to subscribe as we're this close to 27,000 subscribers like and subscribe and let's get into this as you can see to the side of me I've got the championship table down from 1 to 14th and although there's a mathematical chance Middlesbrough could still not make the top six or Watford could finish in the top six I'm going to draw some cutoff lines here as this is the realistic playoff battle from the teams that have the strongest chance as I say it's not impossible teams above that dotted line could fall down but I think Luton and Middlesbrough have got enough points on the ball with surely just another couple to get over the line and the teams below that with Watford Bristol City and Swansea would probably have to win every game and that might not be enough come the end of the season. Looking at the maths and the way that everyone is moving and the games remaining, I'm going to set a benchmark that 71 points will definitely get you sixth place. I could see 70 or even 69 being enough, but 71 should be enough come the end of the season. With that said, let's move on to the teams involved and let's have a little look at Millwall. Millwall have got five games remaining and from their last five games, they've picked up five points. They're picking up one point per game, which would get them to a total of 67 points. That's never been enough in the championship to make the playoffs. It could be enough this year as Millwall seem to be stuck in fifth despite not scoring in their last four and not winning at any of their last four, of course. Looking at their fixtures, you look at those three big home games, Preston and Blackburn do stand out. You like the look of those away games at the two sides that are cut adrift at the bottom. I've said all season that I think Millwall are going to make the top six, even since a ball wasn't kicked. I just wonder if they're faltering at the wrong time, but... That said, their fixture list is quite nice. Two wins, two draws, one defeat gets them to 70 points. And I'd imagine that would be enough for Millwall. But if they want to do it comfortably, they've probably got to go for at least three wins from the final five. Next up, you've got Blackburn Rovers, who've had a fantastic season, but also seem to be faltering at the wrong time. In their last five games, they've only picked up four points. However, they have got six games still to go, and four of them are at home. But look at these fixtures. Other than Hull City, all of their opponents are in the top 10. They've got Coventry at home, Burnley at home, and Luton Town at home. The Burnley at home game could be interesting. You wonder if Black Burn could get their crowd on side for that big Lancashire rivalry, plus Burnley have already been promoted, but the away games to Preston and Millwall seem to be must-not-loses for Blackburn Rovers. Once again, two wins, two draws, two defeats gets them to 70, but you just wonder with Blackburn's goal difference, do they need to get to about 71 points just to feel that little bit more comfortable? It's going to be close. Blackburn fans, share your opinions down below. Next up, we have Preston North End, who are absolutely going like a train. 12 points in their last five is much better than any team in this conversation. They've got some really big games coming up with Millwall away being their next game and you look at those two home games against Blackburn and Sunderland also teams involved. Swansea and Sheffield United away are also very tricky but the form Preston are in they've got to be licking their lips. They're in a great position. Once again their goal difference isn't great so if they were to get to 71 points which is just to win three of this next five they should be alright. And the form they're in, it's not impossible. Can Preston just keep it up for another few games? Next up, you've got Norwich City. Six points in their last five. They're not moving particularly fast. Just above a point per game. If they were to pick up six points from their next five, it would get them to 67. They do have the best goal difference out of all the teams highlighted here. You look at these games as well. Middlesbrough, QPR and West Brom away. They could be tricky, especially Middlesbrough and West Brom. QPR could be fighting for their lives. The two home games seem winnable. Swansea might be difficult, but Blackpool on the final day, you'd really fancy Norwich to win. So there's the opportunity here for Norwich to get some points. Once again, I'm thinking three wins out of that five gets them up to 70 points. And with their goal difference, I'd imagine that's enough. I think Norwich have just got to go for wins here. Draws won't be enough. 
but their form's not quite there, and Middlesbrough and West Brom away are really tricky. They've got to target Swansea, Blackpool and QPR, and that might just be the way that Norwich sneak in there. Up next, you've got my team, Coventry City. Coventry City have picked up six points from their last five games, which is certainly not playoff form. However, we're still in the conversation due to the fact that everyone else seems to be tripping up at the same time. Coventry City are heading into the final stretch with still a mathematical chance, despite not realistically having a good chance of getting above 70 points this season. Coventry probably need to win four of the final five or three wins and a draw or two might just be enough but once again, Coventry would be relying on other teams. I do like the look of Coventry's home games here against Reading and Birmingham. Should fancy them to get some points there. And away at QPR as well, with QPR's form not being great. The big game for me is Blackburn Rovers. It does seem like a must win, especially with Blackburn Rovers being above Coventry City in the table. It could be a case that Coventry lose the Blackburn game and it's all over. It's a difficult assignment on the final day for the Sky Blues going away to Middlesbrough, but it wouldn't surprise me if Coventry City get into good form come that game as it takes a few games after the international break for Coventry City to really get going and once we do we're pretty unstoppable. I just wonder if we're going to leave it too late though. We've still got a chance just three points outside with five games to go. Next up you've got Sunderland and I do like the look of Sunderland's fixtures here especially the home ones Birmingham City, Huddersfield Town and out of form Watford. The away games though are really juicy. West Bromwich Albion and Preston North End two teams right around them and it feels like if Sunderland were to take points off those two then they'd give themselves a really good chance. Once again Sunderland's form isn't amazing with just six points from their final five but only Preston North End in this section have a better return than that so Sunderland are still involved and that 1-0 win against Cardiff was massive as everyone else seemed to drop points in the same weekend. Sunderland are four points off the top six with five games to go and a quite decent goal difference as well. Four wins from the final five would get them to 70 points. I think that could be enough for Sunderland this year. They've got to go for wins from now on. No more draws will do for Sunderland. The final team we'll mention are West Bromwich Albion then, who have six games to go as well. From their last five games, they've also picked up just six points, and West Brom are another team that really can't afford to draw many more games. They've got two absolutely massive home games in Sunderland and Norwich, their teams directly above them. And the away games to Stoke, Blackpool and Swansea could be seen as winnable. Stoke could be tricky, as could Swansea, but if West Brom really want to make it, they've got to win those ones. Their game in hand is Sheffield United away. You just hope, if you're a West Brom fan, that Sheffield United might not have too much to play for come that game. I do think West Bromwich Albion have got a good chance. Corbyn has walked this path before, but the time is running out and West Bromwich Albion are not really taking advantage of everyone else's slip-ups. They're five points off that top six with a game in hand, but the games are running out. Can the baggies bridge that gap in the nick of time? So then that is just a little in-depth look at the teams involved in this conversation. As I say, we won't completely disregard Watford, Bristol City and Swansea who have a mathematical chance of getting in there. However, as I say, they'd have to win every game and hope that everyone else trips up. As I say, 71 points will be enough this season. 70 could be with a better goal difference than other teams. We've just got to wait and see how the teams keep performing as the weeks go on. It seems like the pressure is getting to a lot of teams. Do share your thoughts down below. Do feel free to give your predictions down below. Do make sure to drop a like and do make sure to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.